Hi, this is Steve. Welcome back to Scale Model Kit Review. In this video, I continue to build the Agora Models Terminator T800. Now, I am on pack 5. In pack 5, we have 10 stages to build, stages 41 through 50. So, if you haven't done so already, head over to Agora Models and subscribe to this uh, kit today. It's fantastic. It's half scaled and it's huge and it's available right now, so get it while you can. So without further ado, let's get started. Phased plasma rifle in the 40 watt range. Uzi 9 millimeter. I'll be back. And welcome back. Here's a magazine for Pack 5. If you haven't done so already, head over to Agora Models and subscribe to this Terminator kit today. It's a lot of fun and uh, half scale. It's a big model and I'm having a lot of fun building it. So we're looking at stages 41 through 50 here. And uh, this video will comprise of all the, those stages and I'll show you each stage building process as we move along through the video. Go to the magazine. The first article in the magazine is an article about Blade Runner and uh, talks about uh, robots that were in that, which were your replicants. And then the next article here is uh, skin grafts, skin transplants, and artificial flesh. So they talk about the science of that. Okay, let me go ahead and get all the parts out and I'll give you a preview of all the parts that came with pack five. And here's half of the parts that are contained in pack five. We have 41, 42, 43, 44, and 45. And here's the other half. We have 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. Let's get started with 41. Let's look at the build instructions for stage 41. And here's our all our parts that were included with 41. And we begin with uh, step one here. A lot involved here, definitely. And the final step, step six. And we have a couple of leftover parts, it looks like. Let me get the parts out and we'll be right back. Here's the parts pack for 41. I'll take these out, we'll get a closer look. And here's a close up of those parts. We received uh, five spring washers, the M3 washers, and uh, looks like five PM. 3 by 6 millimeter screws. We received uh, some of the vertebrae parts and these two top ones are made of plastic. They call these the vertebrae casing and these are like a rubber material. So one is thicker than the other. You can see that. And the spindle itself which is made of metal and you can see it's threaded here on this side and a plate which is also made of metal. Let's get started. So the first three steps we assemble this vertebrae and it has these uh, rubber grommets in there. This first one 
um, the shorter one will go on this plate here just like that and then we'll insert our our gear network we want to have the longer side go through it just like that and then we'll put the rubber grommet the larger one the wider one over the top just like that now we'll mount this to the bottom of the torso on the terminator I brought over the bottom of the torso and this will insert into the torso just like that and I believe we'll put some screws into this so the, we'll be putting a PM screws into that the picture doesn't show it but they want you to put that spring washer the M3 spring washer on on that screw and we'll mount this up there and we'll lock that in. We'll put four of them in and And remember that spring washer will act like a lock for the screw. Keep it engaged. And that was the last one going in. Tighten it down. And we'll just check them all, make sure they're all good. There we go, and I was using my Weira screwdriver, which is a PHO screwdriver. And that's all I do with this stage. That was a lot of fun, and not very much going on, but uh, it still is a lot of fun, and we're making great progress with the Terminator. We have two extra parts we're gonna save for a little bit later. Now let's do stage 42. And welcome back. Let's look at the build instructions for stage 42. And here's our parts that were included with stage 42. And these would be the vertebrae fittings along with the little bit of the spinal cord there. And this is where we're going to start fitting the vertebrae together. Continuing on with that. Then we put the spinal cord in through that, through the vertebrae. And then it looks like we wrap all that together on the bottom of the torso. Looks like it screws in. And then that completes that stage. Let me get the parts out and we'll get a closer look. And here's the parts that came with stage 42. So I'll go ahead and take these out. We'll get a closer look. And here are those parts. Uh, these are all made of plastic, these vertebrae here. And they progressively get bigger and bigger. So you have this size, then the next one, and then the next one. And then we have the spinal cord itself. And it has a couple flats on one end there, and screws down on the other there. So we'll get started. All right, so we begin by assembling the vertebrae, and we're going to take the largest vertebrae, which is called uh, 42.3, and we're going to put the next to the largest one, 42.2, on top of that. And then we're going to put 42.1 on top of that. Then they want us to take the vertebrae we received in the previous issue, 41. We're going to go with 41.1, and that's going to go on top of that. And they all kind of rock together there. You can kind of see the movement. That's pretty cool. And the last vertebrae, which is a 41 uh, 5, they call it. And that goes on top of that. So now we have a complete item going there. 
and we're going to take our spinal cord and I believe this one right here is going to fit through uh, one end and we're going to install this on the bottom of the torso that we just worked with on the previous stage I'll go ahead and bring that over I'm going to go ahead and fit this through first that's going to go all the way through just like that and we got that it has to screw in on the bottom of the torso here and make it so you can see it a little bit and match up the threads And just screw that in by hand. And that's pretty cool. Looks like it's as tight as it can be, just like that. Okay, so it's still not tight down. We want to make sure it's engaged into the slot there. And there we go that's engaged and then I can go ahead and continue tightening it and that is good there and that completes stage 42 let's get started on stage 43 And welcome back. Let's look at the build instructions for stage 43. And you can see now we're going to start to work on the pelvis. And here's the parts that were included with 43 and what they're called down below. And you can see we're going to have to cut off some parts off a of sprue tree. So you're going to need a good uh, a blade to cut those off if necessary and start assembling the pelvis itself. We're going to be using some uh, KB screws, the 2 by 4 millimeter screws for that, along with uh, nuts that go along with it, the M2 nuts. Once again, installing another bracket onto that, uh, installing some more screws, a PM 2 by 6 millimeter screw this time, and that will complete it. So let me get the parts out and I'll be right back. Here's stage 43 parts and looks pretty good in there. Let me go ahead and take this out and we'll get a closer look. And here's a close-up of those parts and these are right here, this one right here is made of metal. It's part of the, the right pelvis and it has an R on both of these items here. That's metal also. These are plastic here. We need to cut those off and we received KB2 screws, 2 by 4 millimeter screw and a PM2 by 6 millimeter screw. So first thing we do is we remove these from the sprue tree. I'm using some good uh, uh, sprue cutters and that will trim them off very nicely. Next, I'll bring over my uh, pelvis, pelvis assembly, and I'm going to flip it to where it looks just like in the illustration, and, and it looks like this one right here. It has an R on it, fits in through that, and just going to put it in there and show you what it looks like on the other side. kind of looks like that on the other side. Put the smaller 2x4 screw into this to hold it down. That looks good there. Next I'll put uh, two M2 nuts in there. Mm, just like that. 
And I'm just going to put a little painter's tape over the top to hold those in while I turn this over. And we'll mount this bracket just like that on top. And two PM screws are going to hold that in place. There's one. And two. That's how that looks there. And we have our other part, which is marked with an L on it. We're going to save that for later, but that's all we do with this stage. So stay tuned for stage 44. And welcome back. Let's look at the build instructions for stage 44. So for 44, once again, we're, we're still working on the right pelvis. And here's the parts we received with that. And like always, we always receive a spare screw with any time we, we get a screw. So save those, put those back. You never know when you're going to need them. And we start assembling the, the right pelvis with the parts we've already received. Lots of screws going in here. And that again, okay. Eight steps total. And that will complete that stage. Let me get the parts out and I'll be right back. Here's stage 44 parts back. I will go ahead and take these out and I'll be right back. Here's a close-up of those parts. Here's the uh, pelvic girdle, the right side, and it's made of plastic. Very nice there. Also received the pelvic girdle detail, little detail that goes on it. That's plastic also, and three different types of screws. Like I was saying, we have two PM 2x4 two millimeter. We have three PB 2x6 two millimeter, and six PB 2x4 two millimeter. All right, we take the, the frame assembly that we assembled in 43, and we're gonna mount that to the pelvic plate. And it simply just kind of matches. You can see how, how this tab right here matches the bottom. Essentially, it just goes right down on top of that, just like that. And we're going to use uh, PB 2x6 screws to hold it in place. These, these two points right here. Very easily done. And that's how that looks there. Next, uh, we have four screws we need to put in, and these are the 2x4 screws, the PB 2x4. One right here, right there, and right there, and right there. And that's how that looks there. Next, we uh, mount our detail plate. And that simply goes down and matches the, the design and angles here. PB 2x4 into that to hold it in place a little bit. And I'm not going to tighten it down. And then a PB 2x4 goes in over here. And I'll tighten that. Then I'll tighten the other one. looks good okay so that's all we do for stage 44 stay tuned for stage 45 
Welcome back. Let's look at stage 45 instructions. And we're going to continue with the, this time with the left pelvis frame. And here's all the parts we got with that. Very similar to the, uh, the right side pelvis frame. We're going to cut off some parts off the tree. We're going to install all that using KB 2x4 millimeter screws. We're going to use some M2 nuts once again and solve that bracket. Add the details to the frame itself. So this is a little bit different here. We haven't done this yet. And apply some super glue when we need it. And that will complete this stage. So let me get the parts and I'll be right back. Here's stage 45 parts. And I will go ahead and take these out. We'll get a closer look. And here's a close-up of those parts. These are the left pelvis frame assembly. And of course this is made out of metal here. It does have an L on it right there. And the other side of it, the other frame part that we're going to install onto to it. Plus we have some plastic parts here. These are the girdle detail as they call them. And they have a, a right and a left side to them. And we receive the um, nuts and screws. The M2 nuts once again and two KB 2x4 millimeter screws and three PM 2x6 millimeter screws. So for the first step we cut off that part off of a 43 and we already did that previously and here it is right here. We're actually going to go ahead and mount this to our frame and just like we did before it's going to go in just like that and we're going to put a screw into that, a KB 2x4. And that's a recessed screw, but it's going to go right into it. Lock that in, and that looks good. Next, we'll put our nuts in like we did before. These are the two M nuts. There's one. And two. Take my painter's tape again, lock those down with the painter's tape. I'm going to turn it over. And this is going to go down just like that on top. PM 2x6 screws. Tighten it down. That's how that looks there. Next we uh, take and cut this off. We're going to take the right side one, cut it off first. right pelvis and it's going to get glued down on that just like that okay so I'm going to use my Loctite super glue for this and my glue looper This part has to go into a little divot there, so make sure you did that. And I'll probably put a little more super glue down there. That's 
how that looks there. And that's all I do for stage 45. That all looks good. And the beginning of the left pelvis there. And this was the right pelvis. Let's look at 46. Welcome back. Let's look at the build instructions for stage 46. And for stage 46, we're working on the right pelvis. And it's going to be very similar to what we did on the left side. Here's the parts we received for this stage. And very similar to what we did before. Putting in a lot of screws this time. Adding a detail to it, screwing that down, and then lastly, we're going to super glue in the other part like we did before. And that will complete this stage. Let me get the parts out and I'll be right back. Here's stage 46 parts pack. And give me a moment and I'll take this out. We'll get a closer look. Here's a close-up of those parts, and this is the left pelvic girdle. It is made of plastic, just like the other side. And the detail for that, along with a bunch of screws here. The screws we received are two PM 2x4 millimeter screws, three PB 2x6 millimeter screws, and six PB 2x4 millimeter screws. Oh, just like we did before, we're going to attach, install this frame and simply goes down just like that. Make sure everything falls in place and lined up like it should be, and it is. And we're going to put our two bigger screws right here and right there, two by six. And one more here. And we're going to put four more screws in. And these are two by four screws this time. We're putting four in. So we're going to put uh, one, two, three and four and the last one then we'll put our cover on like we did before this is the detail here it's simply just going to go down just like that and we're going to put our our black PB Sorry, it's a PM 2x4 because it's going into metal. It's a black screw. Our PB goes in the recessed hole here, 2x4. We we'll secure that down, tighten it. So I'll tighten down both. Good. And that's how that looks there. Looks great. Now we get our detail here. We're going to cut it off. Super glue that. Remember when you do this, you want this to kind of go down into that, that recess. Just like that. If you kind of see that, it goes down inside of it. Once again, using super glue for that. And I'm just going to put a little, I'm going to apply it without the, and like I said before, it's just going to go down in there like that. And then that's how that looks there. And that's all we do for this stage. That completes stage 46. Let's go to 47.
Welcome back. Let's look at the instructions for stage 47. And for stage 47, we're working on the central pelvic frame. And these are all the parts we received with that issue. And let's see, we assemble this frame assembly. Throw in a few screws there, the PB 2x4s to that. And then install the other part of the frame onto that. We throw the screws in for that. Step five, we go ahead and throw in a couple more screws onto that frame, and then that will complete this build. So let me get the parts out and I'll be right back. Here's stage 47 parts pack, and it looks pretty good there. Let me take these out and I'll get a closer look. Here's the parts, and these are for the central pelvic frame, and this is made of metal here. Very nice there. Along with this part here, it's also made of metal. And then we have like a cover for it, and that's made of plastic. And all our screws, five PB two by four millimeter and three PM two by six millimeter. So the first thing we do is we mount this uh, outer cover onto the frame and it just goes down just like that. There's four alignment holes that put it in place. We put four PB 2x4 millimeter screws into this. And that's good there. Next we put our frame on here and that's going to line up just like that. Two PM 2x6 screws go into that. And that's two. And that's all we do for that stage. Stay tuned for stage 48. Welcome back. Let's look at the build instructions for stage 48. Stage 48, we assemble the pelvis. And these are the parts that are included with that. So in this case, it looks like we uh, assemble that plate that we just did the previous stage. And it all looks like it's gonna go together like a puzzle. Um, they show us how to specifically install a couple of these details on here. And I'll show you that as we go along. And so we're attaching both sides of the pelvis to this. So it's starting to really look like the pelvis. Putting all the screws in where they need to go in. So there's a lot to do here because that's already up to stage nine. And then next page, next page, we have uh, all the way up to step 14 coming on here with all these screws going in. So let me get the parts out and I'll be right back. Here's stage 48 parts. And let me take these out and we'll get a closer look. And here's a close up of those parts. Here's the pelvic frame. That's made of metal, and then we have the uh, pelvic shield, and that's made of plastic. That looks good there. And then our screws, um, 7 p.m. 3 by 8 millimeter, 3 p.m. 2 by 4 millimeter, and 3 p.m. 2 by 6 millimeter. So we need to take our part from stage 45, our pelvis part here, and we're going to put in our, our part from uh, 47. And you can see there's a couple of tabs that stick out here, right here and right here. There's a couple of slots for those, right there and right there. And we're gonna slot that in, just like that. Then we take our part we received with this issue,
and they tell us to make sure you pay attention to the uh, indentation there and that's going to go down slot right in just like that into that then we're going to get our other side right from stage 46 and we're going to slot that in the other side here it's got four tabs that now line up just like that you can see that how that looks both sides and we're going to put in some screws here these are going to PM three by eight screws We'll put four of those in, one there, I'll do the other corner to help hold it in place on both sides. Squeeze that, squeeze it together and tighten it down. And we need to put two 2x4 two PM screws. And one goes right there. And one goes on the other side. There's one there. And the other side here. Give you a view with the side camera. Kind of see that. And we turn this off. We're going to put some screws on the other side here. Three by eight screws that need to go in. Right there. And one more. And that's good there. Now we turn this over. Just like that. We bring over our pelvis piece here. And it has two alignment tabs. One there and one there. They line up with those two holes. So I use my super glue from Loctite again. I'm going to put those on there. Lock that down. And there you go. And that completes stage 48. And that looks great there. Looks like the pelvis to me. Stay tuned for stage 49. Welcome back. Let's look at the build instructions for stage 49. Stage 49, we are adding details to the pelvis. And here's uh, the parts that are included with this stage. And this time we go ahead and uh, get ready to glue in the other side. You can see here they want us to super glue those tabs like we did before. We're going to cut off a couple of details off the tree and we're going to insert that other pelvis on the right side and we're going to install those uh, details on the end there. And those will get locked in with uh, PB 2x5 screws just like that. And then they want us to add some super glue to the recesses here on each side. And then we install a part on those recesses uh, with the you know, super glue is going to lock that in place. And then that completes that stage. Let me get the parts and I'll be right back. Here's parts pack 49. And I'll go ahead and take these out. We'll get a closer look. 
Here's a close-up of those parts. We did receive the, the left pelvic shield, and that's made of plastic. And the details for that, these are two pelvic sockets, as they call them, sockets. And then the uh, pelvic plate here, and that's also made of plastic. So everything's plastic here. Of course, our screws, the three PB 2x5 millimeter screws. And we're going to go ahead and take our pelvic part there. We're going to glue it in place like we did before. Add some super glue to this. And there's two alignment tabs that go down on top of that. So that's snapped in place there. And we take our two sockets and we're going to cut those off. It looks like these sockets, they just key in. There's a little keyway on them. So one goes on that side, and the other one keys in on the other side. We have some PB 2x5 screws that go into these. One. And last one there. And then of course, this here is going to slot in just like that. You can kind of see that. Okay, but we got to glue it. So I'm going to put some super glue on that recess on each side. and slot that in. Perfect. And that completes stage 49. Stay tuned for stage 50, which is the last stage for pack five. And welcome back to the final stage for pack five. And this is stage 50. Let's look at the build instructions for that. So for stage 50, we fit the pelvis to the spine. So this is the parts we received with that. And let's look at the assembly instructions here. And you can see we're going to be putting in some nuts in on this one part here, the bottom of the pelvis spine. And you can see that there, how it all goes together on the bottom. Then we proceed to put the pelvis that we just assembled onto the bottom of the spine. And then it looks like we are going to be attaching some covers on there. You can see that. And that will be the final step for stage 50. Let me get the parts and I'll be right back. Here's parts pack 50, and let me take these out, and I'll be right back. And here's a close-up of those parts. This is the connection plate, and that's made of metal. And it looks like a pelvic plate, they call it, and that's made of plastic. And we received a bunch of nuts, some self-locking nuts to be precise. So we received five M3 lock nuts, an M10 nut, which is a very large nut. It's like a lockdown nut there. And then five PM three by eight millimeter screws. All right, we're gonna be taking these uh, self-locking nuts and uh, inserting them into this base here part. Now before I put them in there, I think I'm going to hold them in place with some super glue. And you can see the Loctite is what I use. I'm just going to put a little dab. And 
and put those nuts in. Make sure that when you do the nut, that you do it with the round side on top. And I'll show you what I mean. You see that nut right there? You can see it has like the rounded part on top. And that's just going to insert into the that like that. And like that. And I'm going to use some super glue accelerator to lock them down. That should be good. I'll be back. Now we'll take this cover and we're going to insert it into the bottom here of the flange. And you can see how it kind of, you have a less space on this side as compared to that. So that's going to line up with that, obviously. And the reason why I locked those in, I super glued them, is because we really can't get to them. We want to be careful with that. And we want to take and line up the flats. There we go. The flats are lined up there. Now we'll take our large nut here, our M10 nut. Now I'll bring over the pelvis and turn it around like that. It looks like it goes on just like that. You can see the indent is out of the way of the nut on here and that's going to insert just like that. We use uh, PM 3x8 screws for that and you can, if you can just see inside there and four screws go into that locked in. So the pelvis is secure down. Looks like I have to turn this over to install the plate on the back, the pelvic plate. And you can see the plate here has four holes and it's going to line up with those holes that are on there. I'm going to go ahead and throw some super glue on that. And snaps right in. But they are super glued also. So that is good. Okay. And that completes stage 50. That was a lot of fun assembling pack five. Pack five, I got a lot done here with the, uh, the vertebrae and the pelvis. And that really looks the part and looks very nice. So I'd like to thank everybody who subscribes to my channel. Please hit the bell for all new upcoming video uploads. And please give me a thumbs up. Happy modeling, everybody and take care.